here. Kyle O'Reilly actually teased on his Twitter, no, his Instagram, that he has undergone neck fusion surgery. Kyle O'Reilly posted three different images on his Instagram story, which are gone now, which are no longer up. But he first posted this one that says, neck surge. Then the second image of this one, him at a ho- in a hospital bed, stating, eating a spoon of pea butter for my health. Also, if you actually saw the um, actual Instagram story, a live by Pearl Jam was playing. And then there's this one. Dernif Neck Fusion for Honda Fusion. Dernif Neck Fusion for, not Honda Fusion, Ford Fusion. I'm an idiot. Ford Fusion, Ford Fusion. So he posted these three images, which is now, which has now led to people to believe that Kyle O'Reilly has undergone neck fusion surgery. Now, Kyle O'Reilly himself hasn't just said it. He hasn't said, hey, I had neck surgery. But he said it without actually saying it. Now, as far as neck fusion surgery does go, usually, usually, if all goes according to plan, a normal person can be back to normal everyday activities four to six weeks. Sometimes even quicker with neck fusion surgery. So hopefully Kyle O'Reilly does not miss too much time away from all elite wrestling after having the surgery. He had talked for a couple of months now about, you know, being very sore and having to go see a doctor and this and that. And basically chalked it up to not one specific injury itself, but just wear and tear after being in wrestling for what, 17 years. So hopefully Kyle O'Reilly can return soon. Hopefully he can recover with no problems. He's good to go. We already know that the Undisputed Elite, or whatever they're going to be called, is down a man with Bobby Fish no longer with AEW. So it's just Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly. If they go that direction of keeping those two together. 